Okay, so I've got this TrueFire Hardcore release. One of the things I was noticing is that when I pulled the trigger and the hook released, it would stop about there, and then the release itself would have to push out of the way of the string. And that had to inadvertently be pushing the string off to the left, since I'm right-handed, and affecting the shot. I was getting inconsistent left to right hits. So <clears throat> what it is, I took a close look at this, and on the hardcore, there's a series of pins. These pins um, serve a couple of functions. These two big screws actually hold the whole apparatus together, but these pins hold and prevent movements and hold springs and such. This one right here doesn't have a spring attachment to it. It simply was a pin that stopped the trigger, or I'm sorry, stopped the hook from um, going too far closed. In other words, sorry about that, lost lights. Uh, so what's what's happening is when with that pin, with this pin out, the hook can close too far and then it makes it difficult to hook onto the string <clears throat> or onto the D-loop. But when you pull the trigger, that very same pin, which I'm going to try and stick this all the way through, this pin also prevents the hook from opening far enough. And that allows deflection of the, uh, the head of the release and deflection of the string. So what I did is I pushed out this pin and I drilled. Now you have to be careful when you do this because you gotta set the pin in a location. I'm not sure if I can show you this. I'm not sure if it's visible. Let's see if I can get the light to go in. Flashlight, here we go. Okay, so <clears throat> you should be able to see the tip of the pin in there. And what I did is I actually drill a hole through the back, dead center, and then I pushed the pin that I pulled out of here, I pushed it in just deep enough, just deep enough to prevent the hook from closing too far. And you'll see it if you play with your own release, but I can see that. I'm not sure if it's visible on the camera, but it stops the hook from, from resetting too far. But at the same time, it no longer blocks the hook. Uh, can we see that? No longer blocks the hook from opening fully. So now, when you release the trigger, and just use my fingers, when you release the trigger, this will be able to swivel almost a full, eh, gosh, not 180, but more than 90, far enough for the string to fully escape the hook without necessarily moving the head of the release. And now I've got straighter shots coming off the, the hardcore. I love this. This release is one of the best I've used. I like how easy it is to hook on. I like how quiet it is. Um, more importantly, um, I, I like the way it releases. It's uh, very clean and very quiet. Uh, quality product, well worth the money, but you may want to consider putting that pin in. And really that pin goes straight down into the same space that this hole would be where the old pin would be. So you just drill it out, something that matches the pin size, drill it out, and then finally what I did is I put this in on the workbench and I took a, uh, a nail set, this is a punch, but I used a nail set and a hammer and I compressed the soft aluminum head of the release against the pin and then I took a Dremel and I completely flushed it with the unit. So it's not moving, it's not going anywhere, it's completely set inside. And now I'm getting the full function of the hook and the release when I uh, pull the trigger. Just something to consider if you're having trouble with your hardcore working properly. I think it was a design flaw. I don't think the engineers really thought that through. This hook should never have stopped partially through um, in hopes that the string would fall off. The string should be able to come off entirely cleanly. Um, but that would be one recommendation I would have to the, the true fire people is to fix that.